video. Yay! Um, completely unprepared once again. Yeah, <laughs> I fail. Just not enough time, days. Uh, you know, just no time. Anyway, um, see how it goes. And such. Yeah, there's logic. There isn't anything else. Everything else is crap. There's logic, and then there's crap. The, the various uh, axioms, the various corollaries uh, within geometry, for example, even though you can, in a temporal order, lay them out, the simultaneity of the relations is the fact, but we, as in time, have to unfold them one at a time, but whatever. <laughs> I guess the kind of relations that we're talking about is, you know, the logical, the logical set of relations whereby the cosmos logically required consciousness in order for it to be fully what it is and what it. Yeah. Well, whatever. It required consciousness to fully be what it is. Well, obviously, yeah, we wouldn't if we if the Earth, we wouldn't be here. We would, it wouldn't be called Earth. It wouldn't be the quite the same if we weren't here. Yeah, there wouldn't be skyscrapers and melting down nuclear power plants and you know warplanes flying around in the sky. Yeah, all that stuff wouldn't be here if we weren't here. Um, but it's not necessary to the universe's function. It's it wasn't an inevitable form of oxidation <laughs> um, it wasn't the way the universe had to rust uh, any all universes have to rust that's the way this universe rusted but they all didn't have to rust this way um, decompose this way um, there was another point I wanted to make um, but I don't remember it the week it's destined to be uh, I'm not suggesting that there was consciousness in inert matter or prior to the emergence of life. I'm not trying to suggest some sort of super fantastical. Yes, you are. You're trying to suggest that there is something about it that isn't that that far reaches far beyond um, its origin and the basic function of it. Okay, which is this two component type thing there's the need machine the thing that generates the motivation the feelings the wants the desires the hunger and then there's this faculty okay that can be used as a tool to connive and scheme and and orchestrate a plan to successfully accomplish the acquisition of what has been defined as the value the the the, the cheeto and, and that's all there is. And at best, what we can do is attempt to um, use our intelligence to refine our taste so we're hungry for the best of the Cheetos, that we don't get caught up chasing waste and, and yeah, waste, that we, that we find a way to most efficiently acquire our food get at the issue of the logical problem of does it make sense and it's a question does it make sense to say that the universe as purely matter not life not sentience not conscious not consciousness but matter was fully complete well, whatever it was, like I said, if I could undo it, I would undo it, all right? If there was an undo button, I'd press it. That's how much sense it doesn't make to me, all right? It's waste. It's too sloppy to be even, <laughs> you can't, it's, it's so sloppy, you can't even call it whatever it's attempting to be, because it's so sloppy. It's a car designed by a Homer Simpson. It's, it's, it's a fucktard's vision. It's, it's, it's just way too fucking sloppy it's way too stupid to be able to be justified so again what's the point of asking does it make sense you know I'm gonna say of course it doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense to to have to waste waste doesn't make sense but the universe doesn't have to make sense it's not obliged to make sense 
So that certainly makes more sense to me. The fact that the universe is stupid, a stupid, dumb, scumbag retard, and it created a dumb, stinky, lousy, crappy, it's shit in the living room. It took a big, fat, smelly dump in the living room. Um, yeah, the fact that it did that doesn't surprise me, all right? But I'm not going to glorify it and say, wow, that's the whole reason why the universe exists, is so human beings could show up and take a dump in the living room. Without awareness of it, I'm going to say no. And the, the person who wants to say it is, I'm going to say what you're doing is you're using an even stranger fruit, which is the human imagination as reality. You're Sorry, no sale. You're the one imagining that we have some grander purpose than to chase hamburgers. We're taking your ability to imagine the world and then taking that as the real world, which is even more interesting. I think this is part of the, the reason that we take that to be the real, I think is part of the echo reminder of the indigenous character of consciousness to nature so so like again he's just saying that this this way of matter interacting when it becomes reproductive through a DNA molecule is indigenous it is it is a basic structure of what matter does and I just think that's a preposterous statement considering we have absolutely no evidence of any other occurrence one occurrence in the known history of the universe one occurrence with all our technology, with all our science, with all everything, we can't reduplicate the circumstances that create that single occurrence. And yet you will boldly say, this is, the this is what the universe intends to do, is to, is to create a reproducing little machine, have it evolve for two billion years as non-sentient. Then, when, it's got a bunch of, when it starts getting some good knives and teeth and cutting tools, yeah, now we'll make it feel all right, and now it can feel the knife going through its fucking colon. And that, you're going to tell me, is what the universe intended, was to create two billion years of disgusting suffering so asshole humans could cut their toenails and contemplate how brilliant they are. <laughs> yeah, you've got to be... Come on, I'm supposed to not think you're telling jokes? Come on. Ultimately, to all that is. Yeah. All that is, and all that ever was, and all that ever will be, blah, blah, blah. Let's all just cut everything down to some little, uh, make my day. You feel a lucky punk? <laughs> yeah, we'll just cut everything down to a Clint Eastwoodism. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> anyway. Long video, apologies for that. Yep, 50 minutes. Plus the other 30 minutes or whatever it was. Oh, man. That's a tough subject. I can see that much of the point is that um, on the surface of it, it, it's just look at all this stuff. Look at just at this room of the complexity that's in here that's been thrust upon it because of this animated little human organism that has all these little nuances and all these little intricacies and all this little crap going on in its little brain and here's here's this representation of all that complexity and yeah that's sort of fucked up it's like whoa that's pretty fucked up but it's also pretty fucked up there's these little bugs in the stream you know that collect rocks and make their little house out of little rocks and they live inside a little rock house it's pretty fucked up <laughs> you know um but that's all it is it's just biology and genetics this is genetics this is a dna molecule okay that's that's sitting here that's a dna molecule that has survived my descendant was that first reproducing cell i have survived the plague so to speak i survived tyrannus i survived every single crazy ass bullshit thing that went on in all of history my genetic code my little strands of dna my little copying machine has survived four billion years pretty impressive um, if taken outside of the fact that something was going to win okay it was inevitable it's like a lottery something was going to win what who cares there's going to be a something Sorry. 
It's nothing to get all proud of yourself for. Um, anyway. Uh, yeah, sorry. This video should have been already over. Okay. Till next time. Professor Anton did a polite video to him. Pretty polite for me anyway. Um, just going through this fact is, is here's the context of our existence. All these animals, little birds, all this bullshit. These are all creatures, all right, designed by evolution, a force, just a dumb mechanism of competition uh, that have, um, obviously, I mean, it's just so, it's so plain, it's so obvious, it's a competition, everything's competing, you know what I mean? I mean, like, um, the weight of something is sitting on top of something else, and if it's heavier, it's going to win. You know, there's all kinds of little competitions between matter, it's a physical mechanism that takes place, things interact. One thing survives the crash, the other thing doesn't survive the crash. I mean, it's just, just that kind of game. And that's all this is a product of. And so this is what it does. You know, as, as it builds up, it creates this instrument of control and manipulation. So the little thing can be more successful. So now it doesn't need to have giant teeth and eat all the time and chase food. Because now it can trick the food and catch it in a net. And it can play some other game. Um, and that's all there is. Okay, but it's still the same. It's just, it's just matter, competing with matter. And that's, it's all, and, and, and with the sentience involved, then you have these, this capacity to impose horrific misery. Um, go to a mental hospital. Go and, and see what's going on there. And, and see what, what the risk of life is. And it's not pretty, fuckers. Well, anyway, um, I'm not even going to get into the not pretty part. I mean, there's so many not pretty parts that are so fucking obvious. I really shouldn't have to explain the not pretty part. And I shouldn't have to explain that the rest of it is just horny. The rest of it is just hungry. The rest of it is just I want. And that's all there is. There's stupid perceptions of need. Oh, I need to go over here and pet this log. Yeah, wow, I really got off on that. Man, all the colors. It was, ooh, it was a fantastic experience. Ooh, hang on, try log petting. Whoa, man. Too much. Anyway, so there's that video, and then I uh, just upload one on the website. Um, yeah, responding to Pyro's inane comments and a comment by Professor Anton that just stunned my brain. I mean, I just I read it and I read it and I read it and I read it and I just I'm like, this can't be the comment. There's got to be something else. It's got to be something more. He's opposed to virtual reality because he thinks. In virtual reality, like in his dreams, he will be haunted by a longing, uh, you know, to get um, steaming stool syndrome or smoking stool syndrome or, or to have some other great grand human disease. You just won't want to not be a suffering, bleeding, dying organism. It'll just be too humiliating or something. Anyway, I don't know. I don't know. Fuck it. People are fucking insane. It's the truth. You are all, goddamn, well not all, you are most all of you, most all of you are afflicted by a pars perceptual disorder that renders you incapable of knowing or understanding the fucking truth. Yeah. Which means you are fucking lunatics. Okay, there we go. <sighs> Cold out here. So we will leave with shiny cloud, shiny. It's shiny, shiny cloud, shiny. It's nothing really to debate, is there? Just nothing to debate. Life is really, really stupid. The people are really, really stupid. Uh, the whole planet's dumb. The universe is really, really dumb. Everything's stupid. Stupid. Stupid to even talk about it being stupid. <sighs> stupid. So, I guess that's the theme. Everything's stupid. Probably done that before. You don't have time. Anyway, Link. I was in a good mood about a half hour ago. I don't know. I was just, just, it all turned to shit somewhere.